Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super, super grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. And you've read the title. You've read the title. How I grew my YouTube channel from zero subscribers, from zero to 100K. How did I do that? How did I do that? I'm going to break down in this video exactly what I had to do. And if you're someone interested in growing your YouTube channel, you're a Muslim YouTuber out there or a Muslim wannabe YouTuber out there, a future YouTuber out there or current YouTuber out there, I don't want to say wannabe because I don't want to disrespect you guys. I don't want you to feel like I'm mocking you. I'm not. There's a lot of YouTube, Muslim YouTubers who are on the rise right now. May Allah increase them as well. But I'm going to show you the hack, the hack to grow your YouTube channel. Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. But before we do that, guys, I just want to shout out to my partners today, Sindeet. You already know what it is, my partners, my partners, okay, guys? You see the drip. I'm not even playing with you guys. You see the drip. I got the white Air Force Ones on right now, some white uptowns. You know what I mean? And uh, link is in the description, SQ30. Get 30% off your next order if you order anything with them. Just check them out. Even if you don't you know, order anything from them, just check it out so they drive some traffic and they know that your boy SQ sent them so that these partnerships stay with me and I could do more iPad giveaways. Uh, next announcement before we continue is that we just filmed the second iPad giveaway in Times Square, and I promise you, if you like the first one, which is right over here, the second one is way better than the first one. And I, I, I'm not just saying that Allah is my witness. You'll see it. I'll, I'll rather undersell and over deliver so you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, let's get into this video. How I grew my subscribers from zero to 100K. How? Within what? The span of, I know if you're going to look at when did I start my page, it would be 2016. But that's not true. It's, it's true. Like I started it. If you go to my older videos, which I plan on talking about later on, uh, you'll see like how my setup was and everything like that. And I'm sure that you guys see a lot of growth in me since then, okay? Uh, but really, my, my, my channel started growing um, two years prior, two years ago, right? When something clicked in me. And you know, one, one of the people I like to shout out is Musa Adnan. I had some really good times hanging out in his house and chilling with him and family. He, and he's family to me, alhamdulillah. Uh, and we started talking about something. And this is what helped me click and go in that right direction. So maybe this is going to help you as well. I was talking to my, my bro, Musa. Um, and, uh, you know, and I said, he said something about, like, being a YouTuber. He's like, you know, you're, you're a YouTuber. I'm like, bro, I'm not a YouTuber. What's, I have, like, 4,000 subs. Like, I'm not a YouTuber. He looked at me. He stopped. He looked at me. He was just like, what, what makes you a YouTuber? I had no answer for him. So I'm asking, what, what, what do you think it makes you, what, what makes you a YouTuber? Like, what, what is it? And I, I, was, I, I was like, I don't know. He's like, what, 10,000 subs? Is that what makes you a YouTuber? I said, no. I'm like, is that the, no? He said, you are a YouTuber. Once he put that, head, that, that thought in my head, I was just like, I am a YouTuber, right? I, I'm essentially a die. I'm not even a YouTuber. I'm a die, right? Like, I do a whole bunch of stuff, but essentially, I'm a die. You're a die as well, right? But you can be a die on YouTube as well, and I'm going to talk to you about that right now. Here's the key. You're like, SQ, you're three minutes into the video. What? Talk. Talk, bro. You're in this damn classroom again. Talk to me right now. All right, I'm going to talk to you right now. Here is the secret to help you grow your YouTube channel. You're not going to like it. You might not even appreciate it. You might even think that SQ, this, this is what I waited this whole time for. What are you doing? Just watch time? You're clickbaiting me, SQ? No, 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 no. This is what you need to be successful. If you want to grow your channel, this is what you need. You ready? You have to become obsessed with your craft. That's the key. You got to become obsessed. Notice I'm not saying you, you have to want it. No, you have to become obsessed. Let me show you something. I'm going to show you something right now. I'm walking to grab my phone in case you're like, oh, screw where you go. This is my notes section. This is my notes section. This is just a, maybe a week's worth of notes of me just writing ideas, thoughts, things that come to me all the time. Because I'm thinking about this all day long. And you know what? For some people, that's not healthy. For me, it's extremely healthy because I'm obsessed. Not with becoming a YouTuber. You see... If you're obsessed to get some number, then once you get that number, that, that drive will die out. But your obsession isn't about YouTube numbers. It's not about monetization. It's not about subscribers. It's not about following me on Instagram, which you guys should, obviously. It's not about that. I'm talking about becoming obsessed with spreading Islam. I could promise you, I, and I'm, I'm not encouraging anyone to be a YouTuber for any other reason but dawah. 
That's my encouragement right now, okay? So if you're trying to like be a gamer, mashallah, wonderful. How do you, spend on, how do you plan on using that platform for Islam? I'm not telling you not to play a video game. I'm saying, how do you plan to do are you gonna be? Are you, are you going to be a video game commentator while you're playing COD and you're talking about Islam? Are you going to be saying, like, are you really going like, to drive lessons from what you guys are doing? Like, if that's the case, then you should be one. But if you are not obsessed with being a da'i, a person who wants to spread Islam, then Habibi, you're going to make that goal. You're going to become obsessed with maybe subscribers, maybe money. I don't know. But it's all going to be a shallow obsession. And you're going to achieve it because obsession is the key. It's the, it's the tool for you to be successful. But you have to be obsessed correctly. If you're obsessed with the dunya, once you get it, you will feel incomplete. Ain't that the truth? Once you get it, you're going to feel incomplete. But if you're obsessed with spreading Islam, are we ever done spreading Islam? Yes or no? No. We're never done spreading Islam. Never ever. Not 100K, not 100 million, nothing. Because we are obsessed with spreading Islam. How? In the most creative way possible, in the most entertaining way possible. But I'm obsessed with spreading Islam. If you are a Muslim potential, you know, wants to go in the direction of being a YouTuber, it has to be for dawah's sake. It does. And you might be like, ask you, oh, but I'm not, I'm not about that. Then maybe you're not mature enough to be a YouTuber. I'm sorry, that, I'm sorry that stung you a little bit. But if you're going to think that I'm just going to sit here and think that it's okay for you to just, you know, be a YouTuber that, you know, just does pranks and things like that. You're wrong. I'm not. I'm not going to support that. Uh, a friend showed me a, a really popular Muslim, um, a, you know, uh, influencer. I don't know what to call it. Ah, we're dais, guys. We're not just YouTubers. We're not influencers. We are dais. We are khalifas. What would you rather be, an influencer or a khalifa? Deep, isn't it? What would you rather be, a YouTuber or a khalifa? Which one is it? We are khalifas on these lands. We are the Khalifa. All of you are. We guys are, we are the rulers of these lands. We are. Because we have something that could change people's lives. And that is Islam. Until your obsession isn't Islam. I'm not saying that you're not going to make it. You'll make it. But it's going to be shallow. It's going to be superficial. And we've seen those YouTubers, haven't we? We've seen those Muslim YouTubers. We have. I'm not going to mention their names. You know who they are. This person on, on, on Instagram that I'm talking about pranks all day long. And in that chase for stardom, you don't care if that prank is halal or haram. You don't care if any of that is halal or haram. Now, I'm not saying that this person doesn't think or worry about halal or haram. But this person is more obsessed with getting people to laugh at any cost. That's why they're successful, because they're obsessed. But it has to be an obsession tied in with Islam. I hope this is making sense for you guys. So if you're out there right now, eight minutes in, if you're out there right now, SQ, I'm ready to be obsessed, then become obsessed. Becoming obsessed means that the, the, the last thing that you think about when you go to bed is Islam. How can I get better? How can I spread Islam? How can I educate more people about Islam? Okay, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you think about is Islam. How can I spread Islam? How can I get better? How can I become a better Muslim to help other people become better Muslims? How can I become a better communicator, a better leader, a better influencer? What does it mean to be an influencer? Having numbers? That's not what influencer means, right? Uh, you think leader means that you are the imam that makes you a leader or you are some position that makes you a leader or your specific age or you have a specific dirty length? No. Or hijab length? No, that doesn't make sense, sorry. <laughs> that was a bad analogy. No, that's not what a leader is. A leader is someone who has influence. The fact that you can watch this video right now and you're feeling a certain way, that shows that I was able to influence you, okay? So you have to become obsessed with spreading Islam. True or false, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was obsessed with spreading Islam. True or false? True or false? True. He was so obsessed that going to Taif and getting stoned out of their bloody sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He went to a place. He was already getting beat in his place, bro. He went there so he doesn't get beat or ridiculed. And they gave him ulta, they gave him more. They weren't beating him in Mecca the way they beat him and abused him in Taif. The messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, got stoned out of Taif, guys. How, how can I explain this to you? They, they stoned the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tried to understand this. 
that when the Messenger وسلم, came back out of Taif, he had blood dripping down his leg to his slipper, his sandal. And it was so much blood. They had pulled in his sandal, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That when he took off his sandal, the blood was, his sandal was stuck to his foot. His sandal was stuck to the sole of his foot. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How many of you would have given up? Be honest. How many of you would have given up? The Messenger وسلم, didn't give up. Why? Because he was obsessed. Of course, he's the Messenger of Allah, all that. But he was obsessed. You don't think that he had a bad day? You don't think that he was sad? This called, that's the year of sorrow, right? That's when it all went down. But he had a mission. And he was obsessed with that mission. The problem is you guys haven't found out your mission, you haven't acknowledged the mission, and you haven't answered the call of that mission. Once you answer that call of a mission, no view, no like, no blah subscriber is going to stop you from that mission. Today, back then, the Messenger Salsam was getting physically stoned. Today we get stoned with hate comments. We get stoned with, uh, you know, cartoons of our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We get stoned with Islamophobes. We get stoned all the time today, but that won't stop us. But you know the sad part? Sometimes we're stoning each other. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Would the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam accept or approve of us stoning each other? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Salaf that you follow? The Salaf, oh, the Salaf, would they have approved of Muslims stoning each other? Hate comments, trolling each other? Aki, jahil. That's a stone. That's a stone, isn't it? Would they have approved of that? You know the answer to that. If you want to be a Muslim YouTuber, not a Muslim who is a YouTuber, try to understand, we got those. We got those. We say where they ended up. We know. If you want to be a practicing Muslim who is a YouTuber, who is spreading al-Islam, which is our purpose in life, become obsessed with spreading Islam. If you become obsessed that you will not give up, you will not stop until Islam reach every single household, then I promise you, sky's the limit. Wallahi, sky's the limit. But you have to become obsessed. It has to live in here. Your iman is driving you. Your taqwa is driving you, but you're living in here all the time. I said, before you go to bed and the first thing when you wake up, please, it's when you're tying your shoes, you're thinking about Islam. How can I spread Islam more? You're spending time with your family. You're hugging your children. You're spending time with your loved ones. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking, how can I spread Islam? You have to become obsessed with it. That's the only way that you can make it. Any other way, you won't. You'll make it, but it'll be for shallow dunya reasons. And the dunya is empty. The dunya is empty. Yes, along the way, are you going to acquire some dunya? Sure, it happens, right? Like, I get sponsorships. That, that helps, right? That helps. Like, it's okay. I don't have to spend it on iPads and blah, 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 blah. And I'll make a separate video about that. I could keep the money and all that sort of stuff. I'm not saying not to do what I do. I'm crazy, right? Uh, honestly, I, I, I'm, some of you are watching this. Are you obsessed with Islam? I am, but, but I'm, I'm built a little differently. No disrespect to anyone out there. I'm just, that's just how I am. I'm crazy like that. I'm crazy like that, you know? And I'm not saying that that's a healthy thing for you because, uh, you know, everyone has their own standard of what obsession is. My standard is like, I don't even know what my own standard is. It's just somewhere up. So if, if you were to take any advice from this, it is become obsessed with Islam, become obsessed with spreading Islam, giving da'wah, and just educating the masses, guys. When you do that, not only will you achieve, bi'ithnillah, Allah will open your doors. Wallahi is going to open your doors. You don't believe me? Was Isra with Miraj not opening the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's doors? It was. It was. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open all of our doors all of our doors because we are obsessed with spreading his deen to every country every country not go back to a muslim country make hijrah i'm here i'm in new york city 
I won't rest until there's a Quran in everyone's hands. I won't rest. I won't. I won't rest. I won't stop. May Allah protect me. Say mashallah or something so I don't get ayin or hasid or evil eye. Say mashallah. Say Allahumma barak askew. Say something right now. I don't want no hasid or evil eye. May Allah protect me from evil eyes and watches. I know some of you are out there who just subscribe so you can put a thumb down. Stoning me. Stoning Muslims. That's what we're doing. Stoning each other. That's not what we're here for, guys. We're here to spread Islam. That's what we got to do. Get people to have taqwa. Our main goal is so that people's skins are not roasting in the hellfire. Wallahi, it's a reality. It's a reality. I want to open with that sentence, obviously, <laughs> but it's a reality. That's what drives us. Why am I never going to give up on that non-Muslim from ever accepting Islam? Why am I not going to give up until Allah removes his ruh from his body? Why won't I give up? Because I don't want their skins to be roasting in the hellfire. That's why we won't give up. We won't stop until everyone learns about Islam, accepts Islam, thinks about Islam. It has to enter in all of our houses. You can hear the bell is real, guys. I'm really in the classroom right now. I appreciate you watching. This video got a little long, but you know what? Who the hell cares? Who the hell cares? You clicked out? Who the hell cares? You don't want to watch me? Who the hell cares? SQ, why you move like this? Why you talk like this? Who the hell cares? I don't care because I'm obsessed with Islam. Don't care. I'm more concerned with being real to myself more than I am of, uh, concerned with being real to you. That's what realness means to me. I'm more concerned with being real to me. And you know how many people I've lost along the way? You know how many you know, people don't talk to me anymore? It's okay. I felt something in the beginning because I'm less, but we're, we're, we're brothers. But we did Umrah together. But, but I stayed at your home. But I know everything about you. But you know everything about me. We, we spoke. I cried in front of you. You cried in front of me. Now you don't want to talk to me anymore? May Allah increase you though. But that won't stop me. That won't stop me. And that shouldn't stop you either. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, take a look at some of the other videos. Or don't take a look at those other videos. I don't care. SQ, why are you talking with your back face to me? So you can see the Sindeed logo. Because these clothes are dope. They're a Muslim-owned brand in France. Yeah, boycotting French brands? Good. Don't boycott this. This is a Muslim-owned French brand. Support Sindeed. Support Muslim businesses. They're literally in France, in one of the most racist places we are in right now. A Muslim company, Sindeed. Stylish-ass clothes, bro. Stylish-ass drip. I can't promise you're going to look good as me in it. <laughs> I can't promise you that. But with my code SQ30, you give it a try. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, and maybe, 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 inshallah, Allah alam. Maybe. Until next time. I'm out.